Ancient DNA discovery rewrites human history. Its discovery was made in Japan with entirely new ancestry model. And we have amazing finds such as beautiful pottery from that era as well as we can see here. DNA samples extracted from bones of Japan's ancient inhabitants led scientists to rewrite our understanding of anthropology, archaeology, and uh, of Japanese history. Researchers in Japan and Ireland have sequenced 12 ancient genomes to narrow down the genetic origin of modern-day Japanese people. The groundbreaking effort unveiled some unexpected insight into Japan's history, and it's shaken up previously accepted theories of the area archipelago genetic ancestry. According to the research, which was published in the journal Science Advances, Japanese people can trace their genetic heritage to three distinct groups of people, not only two, but three. Humans have called the Japanese archipelago home for at least 38,000 years, although at least 3,000 have been the most culturally transformative. Up to now, scientists trace Japanese heritage to indigenous hunter-gatherers known as the Jomon people and immigrant farmers known as the Yayoi. The Jomon inhabited Japanese islands between 16,000 and 3,000 years ago before giving way to the Yayoi from about 900 BC to 300 AD. The new research now adds a third group of people into the mix, the so-called Kofun people, K-O-F-U-N, those influence spread across Japan uh, between the 3rd and 7th centuries. Researchers came to this conclusion after sequencing the 12 genomes of people from Japan's pre- and post-farming periods. Kindly support my Patreon account since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. The study identified an influx of East Asian ancestry between 300 and 700 AD, which corresponds to the Imperial Kofun period. According to the experts, the period marked the start of political centralization in Japan. The research was led by Shigeki Nagagomi, assistant professor in psychiatry at Trinity College Dublin School of Medicine. That, thus, Ireland is uh, involved in this because he's a professor there. Professor Nagagomi said, researchers have been learning more and more about the cultures of the Jamon, Yayoi, and Kufan periods as more and more ancient artifacts show up, but before our research we know relatively little about genetic origins and impact of the agricultural transition and later stage formation phase. He says, we now know that the ancestors derived from each of the foraging, agrarian, and state formation phases made a significant contribution to the formation of Japanese populations of today. In short, we have an entirely new tripartite model of Japanese genomic origins instead of the dual ancestry model that has been held for a significant time. On top of the incredible discovery, researchers estimate that the Jomon peoples had a population size of about 1,000 for many millennia. They also noted a divergence from continental populations some 20,000 to 15,000 years ago, or about the same time rising sea levels isolated Japan from the west, uh, rest of the world. As we know, that time is the Younger Dryas period, about 14,000 years ago, and then we had the Ice Age. So, uh, you know, that's a lot of uh, human uh, extinction level events taking place at that time. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. And this is uh, from uh, Express UK, Sebastian Ketley.